G'day everyone and welcome to my very first ever Murray Cod Catch and Cook video. Hey you! You are watching Murray Cooking! In this video I'm going to show you the very easiest way to fillet a Murray Cod and it's so easy that I won't even get my hands dirty. Now those of you that watched my last Murray Cod fishing video may remember that I kept the last fish that I caught of the day. I caught four, I put the first three back and I kept the last one. I think it's the first cod that I've ever kept on my channel. I can't remember ever keeping one on there. I think it's the first cod that I've kept for about 10 years, to be quite honest. I, I'd rarely keep them. I usually put them back, but I just decided I wanted to keep one for a feed, so I did. Now, I'm going to show you the easiest way to fillet a Murray cod, and then I'm going to show you how I like to cook it. But before I do show you that, I'm going to show you the catch, just in case you missed the video. I'm going to show you the short clip of me catching the fish, and then I'm going to teach you how to fillet it. Got him. Aha, off the surface. You'll be honest, he's not a monster. I reckon this might be a 40. It might be a bit bigger than I first thought, unless he's wrapped around a snag. Oh, a bit more weight in this fish than I first thought. Oh, he's a lovely fish. He's a lot bigger than I first thought. <laughs> he's a good uh, 60 centimetre cod, this one. Right, what do you see this? <laughs> my glasses are wet, I'm assuming my GoPro's wet. Look at that! That is a good 60 centimetre cod, I reckon. You beauty! Now, I know a few of you are going to be upset by this, but I think I might keep this cod. How awesome was that surface take? I love surface fishing for Murray cod. So that was the catch, now it's time to go to the cook. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to fillet a Murray Cod. I won't even get my hands dirty. And the easiest way to do it is to get someone else to do it. <laughs> right, I've got my dad enlisted to fillet this fish for us. He's going to show us how it's done. Everybody does these a different way. And there's going to be someone's going to say, you're doing it wrong, you should be doing it this way. But I don't care. I've been doing these for 50 years, and if you don't agree, Bad luck, do it yourself. So, first thing I do is make an incision straight down the backbone, cutting right along the back to the tail. Then I gently run the knife in underneath and gently try and get as much flesh away from the back as I can. Then I'll put the knife through and run it along the backbone and bring it out the back gently taking the flesh away from the rib cage as best you possibly can now anybody that's done Murray Cod will know that up near the top in there it's very hard so I carry a pair of these side cutters just to cut the first couple of bones through and then I'll finish off with the knife just gently taking it away done then the other side and most people will know is always a little more difficult than the first side
Right, now Dad's done a cracking job. He's got the fillets off. Now he's just going to cut a couple of fins off and show you how to skin the fish. But before he does, big shout out to young Zeppelin, Alan. Young Zeppo. Dad's got the Robbie Fishing Kitchen Cook uh, apron on Zepp. Thank you very much. From the farmer's cottage in now and now. Right, oh, now let's, uh, let's fill it. Right, oh, now we've got the, the, the fillets off from the fish. You can trim a little bit of the fatty bits off from around where the fins are. Take the uh, top fin out, the, and if you want to eat this section, that piece is absolutely superb. Just throw it in the frying pan as one of the nicest sections of the fish. Just chuck it in the frying pan for a couple of minutes and, and eat it off the bone. We've got the fillet. All we do now is separate the flesh from the skin. Put the knife between the two. You do need a sharp knife. Prerequisite for any filleting, make sure your knife is razor sharp. Done. Magnificent. One feed of Murray Cod. Absolutely superb table fish. Don't feel guilty about taking one home occasionally. That's how I fillet them. There are people who do them differently, but that's the way I've always done them, and uh, they come out quite good. There are tiny little bones along the side here. It's, if you're feeding kids, it might be an idea to try and cut them out. They're very small, but if you're feeding little kids with them, you can feel them quite easily. You need, you can shave them out. There's only a few. Now that's, you know, there's still a couple in there, but they're tiny. Very hard to get out, but if you can, it just makes them a lot easier for your children to have a crack at. This fillet is Dad's commission for doing the filleting. Now before I go home and show you how I like to cook it, let's find out how Dad likes to cook his Murray Cod. Uh, I've got the, the Brendan Fleming recipe here. I just cut it into pieces, mix up a little bit of beer batter, a bit of self-raising flour, a bit of beer, roll that in, in the batter, light batter, chuck it in the deep fry, and away you go. Absolutely superb. Just a little bit of batter. Even than that, you put it in flour, just a little bit of oil, and cook it as it is. But I prefer the, the batter because it holds the fish together. Brendan Fleming. Good on you, Moon. Big shout out to Brendan. My cousin's husband, and he's a cracker of a fella, and he loves catching cod. And he can cook. <laughs> Righto, now I'm back at my place. I've got my fillet and I'm now going to prepare it and cook it. Or I'm going to cook some of it. Now the lighting is terrible. I always have bad lighting at my place. The lighting was better at Dad's place than it is at my place. Anyway, let's get this fillet out and prepare it. There's not much to do here because Dad done such a wonderful job of the filleting. What I want to do is cut it into sort of portion sizes. I think that's not a bad size. Not too big, not too small. Right now there's my uh, my portion sizes. I've got I've got four really nice, four, sorry, five really nice pieces and a couple of small offcuts here. I'll just throw them loosely in the frying pan while I'm frying the others. Now I'm going to cook two of these now and then I'm going to have the others tomorrow for lunch. So I'll cook two now, put five in the fridge for tomorrow, but I'm going to prepare them all now and I'm going to do that with eggs and egg and bread crumbs. The very best crumbs in the world are these ones. You get them at Aldi. What are they? White mill bread crumbs. This is the lemon pepper, and the yellow one is the garlic flavour. And they are absolutely fantastic. They are so nice. They're nicer than any other crumbs that I've ever used. These are the ones I'm using today, the lemon pepper. Let's get crumbing. Right, I've got my fish here. I'll go fish, egg, breadcrumbs, then the last plate, ready to cook. Now, I'll put two eggs in here and whisk them up. Usually, I put eggs and milk, but I've just realised how much milk I've got, and it's not very much. It's none.
It's always good to not put all of the crumbs on at once because it'll start getting chunky and, and lumpy and then you'll want some fresh ones to put in, through, in during the process. Right, let's start crumbing. Like I said earlier, I apologise for the poor light, but this is my kitchen, it's not a studio. <laughs> So I get my cod fillet, I dip it into the egg, then I just drop it into the crumbs. I try to keep my right hand dry so that I can sprinkle crumbs over the top without the uh, without making the bread crumbs go all lumpy, but no matter how hard you try it still seems to happen. Righto, so there's my five very, very nice looking uh, Murray Cod fillets. Breadcrumb, dipped in egg and breadcrumb, ready to cook. I'm going to put them in the fridge for a few minutes just while I tidy up. And then we're going to cook a couple. Righto, now it's time to cook them. What I do is I get the heat up, then I cool it a bit. And you'll be pleased to know that I'm using butter this time. My last couple of catch and cooks, of which have been redfin and trout, I've used margarine and uh, people get a bit funny about that. They think that I should use butter. So I went out and bought some butter and there is quite a bit of difference. It tastes a lot nicer. Now you might be able to see my, my slippers and you're more than welcome to laugh at my grandpa's slippers while I'm cooking if it's going to make you happy. That's already thrown out a fair bit of heat. So what I want to do is just cool that down Chuck in some butter. I'm just going to throw that big bit in. You can never have too much butter when you're cooking fish. And you have to use a knife like this to move it around while it's melting. That's a butter knife. And that's what it's designed for. For moving butter around the frying pan. That's probably not. I might have just made that up. <laughs> but you don't want too much heat. Because otherwise you'll end up with a cooked fish with burnt butter, with burnt crumbs. Right, now which two pieces do I want to cook? I'll cook that one. I'll cook that one. There for now, I'll tuck these uh, little bits and pieces in as well. Why not? There for now, these other three I'm going to uh, wrap up and that's, that's tomorrow's lunch right there on that plate. Starting to smell a little bit burnt. Yeah, that's a little bit too far done, Robert. I should have turned them over a little bit sooner. Oh well. You want to know what I was doing? You want to know why I was distracted and didn't turn them over sooner? I'm replying to comments on the YouTube video that I published about half an hour ago. Ha! That's called an evening Murray Cod fishing that I will never forget. And I'm just replying to the wonderful, wonderful comments that you people have left. Now for anybody wondering what sort of butter I'm using, it's Chef's Choice Western Star. Why I chose this one, I think it might have been on special. Alright, so how are we looking in here? We just had it sort of... I reckon that'll do. Looks good to me. A little bit overdone maybe, but that's okay. And I can tell you now, those little uh, bite pieces, the offcuts, they were overdone. But they were still amazing. Well folks, that was an absolute delicacy in every sense of the word. It was truly magnificent. Last week I had a nice yellow belly, around about 40 centimetres long. This cod was 65 centimetres long. My personal preference is for the yellow belly. Yellow belly's always been my favourite eating fish. Cod would be second, followed by redfin and then trout come last. And that's the main fish species in my area. Cod is a very close second, it's very, very nice. And to many people it might come first. But I like the yellow belly. I think the yellow belly's got a little bit more fat in it, and it's just a little bit juicier. The cod's a little bit drier than the yellow belly. That's what I find anyway. But every bit is tasty, and that was fantastic. Thanks very much for watching my Murray Cod fishing catch and cook video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not consider subscribing to my channel, giving me a thumbs up. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Am I even in frame?